I see the story of Peter Pan and his shadow as a fantastic allegory for Jungian shadow work and shadow integration. So Peter Pan, he becomes disconnected from his shadow, but that part is unimportant. What I want to talk about is more the reintegration because one could say that we all start off as Peter Pan, just for the purposes of what I'm going to be talking about here. So sewing on his shadow that's the that's the part that that really hit me about peter pan it's it's like this allegory for accepting and integrating and reattaching becoming one with so he's he's actually putting his shadow back onto himself he's he's sewing it back on and there's a pain that comes with with sewing something onto yourself i mean any Thing, of course like that it's going to be puncturing holes it's going to be you know pulling thread through it it's not going to be an easy process so this is much like the idea of um, the the hero's journey and the journey into adulthood and how you become you become a man or a woman or a more complete being so this unintegrated shadow this uh, this shadow that's running free, that's doing its own thing, that's you know making its its own plans in the universe and doing what it wants. It's out there causing trouble, causing trouble for the person whose shadow it is, and they may not notice this, they may not recognize it. Sorry, there might be a loud, loud noise in the background. <laughs> Cat is digging through a whole bunch of stuff, <laughs> and so this. This unchecked, unstructured, unrestricted shadow is doing exactly that with the with its projection. It's projecting itself onto anything and everything without you holding it back, without you having the the reins on it, the control over it. So this shadow is out there. It's projecting onto this. It's projecting onto that. And what I mean by projection, as far as the shadow goes, is um, we take aspects of ourselves that we don't like and we put them into our shadow. So things that we're embarrassed of, that we're not proud of, whatever it might be. We stuff those down into the shadow and what happens is those then get projected onto the world outside. It's the whole idea of the saying, um, we see the world not as it is, but as we are. And so for example, um, I might get mad at somebody on the road who doesn't use their blinker. And I'm like, how freaking lazy are you? All you have to do is just flip the little thing and you can change lanes and, you know, like go off and swear at them or whatever. And then a couple miles down the road, I make a lane change without do using my blinker properly. Maybe I turn it on at the last second or I turn it on as I'm doing it. And so instead of getting mad at myself for not correcting that behavior within me, because that would be a painful process, I project that externally and I say oh no they're the jerk and that could be with anything with you know being lazy being um, having racism in your shadow having sexism in your shadow whatever it might be you project that out onto other people so that you can sort of hide from it yourself so that you don't have to go through the pain of integrating that shadow so again until that shadow is integrated sewn on till it becomes part of you and who you are in the individuation process, that shadow is out there projecting onto everything, just like your shadow is projecting onto everything, everyone, every encounter that you have is going to be tainted. It's going to be, um, the light of it is going to change based on how much your shadow is projecting upon it. And so, and Peter Pan, he can't, grow up and become an adult until he is more of a whole person until he has his shadow sewn back onto him until he has gone he himself has gone through that process of reattaching his shadow of becoming a more complete whole person an adult until then until he goes through that indiv individuation and integration process he remains part of a collective he identifies with he is stuck in the lost boys. He's not this real person who has gone through this painful hero's journey because shadow integration is painful. And shadow integration 
gives us that that sense of humanity because we have a better understanding of ourselves we have a better understanding of others as we accept these things about ourselves and go through the pain of that we understand what's going on with other people and you can see he's pretty active today he's all over the place <laughs> cats will do what cats do gotta love it <laughs> so once that hero's journey has been gone through it, that is the process of sewing that shadow back on and again this is this is a painful process if you're doing shadow work and you find that it's not painful that it's not disturbing to you then you're not really doing shadow work let's be perfectly honest the reason things are in your shadow is because you can't deal with them normally you have a hard time accepting those aspects of yourself if you could accept them easily there wouldn't even be a shadow it wouldn't even be a thing so going back to the allegory of sewing it on and the stitches, when you're honest about your shadow work and you are really digging in and you're looking at everything that you dislike about other people and everything that you dislike about the world and you're really questioning, how does that have to do with me? How, how am I projecting onto that? When I see this person I don't like, how am I projecting me onto them? Um, I mentioned things like racism and sexism. Well, one of the big things that I've found is um, affirmative action, is that is an infantilization of people who you think can't make it on your own. And so that's something that gets stuffed into the shadow. That's shadow racism and sexism. And it's very painful to learn that you're treating these people as if they're infants, as opposed to treating them like you should, as if they're perfectly capable capable of doing anything and so that is good honest shadow work because you're really digging in you're saying oh well I don't like that racist over there and you're saying oh wait a minute maybe I don't like them because there is a racist tendency of myself that I'm not acknowledging that is true shadow work so think about that with all kinds of aspects but back to the the stitching the shadow on so real honest shadow work is going to be painful just like that because you have to come to that point where you have to say i'm calling that person a racist or a sexist because i indeed myself have these tendencies that i haven't accepted about myself and so when you when you are doing this the honest shadow work is the deep stitches the the ones that you're really digging in you're making sure that that shadow is in its place that it is becoming integrated and one with you those are the the good stitches like an expert um, seamstress would do whereas if you're kind of half-assing it through your shadow work just so that your ego can be so proud of doing the shadow work and all you're doing is you're just putting the stitches in really light really sloppily you're not doing a really good job of it you may even be reattaching your shadow just with a piece of uh, cellophane tape or something and that is being dishonest about it because you're not really digging in you're not really getting into where it's painful and where it's painful is what's required in order to put that shadow on in order to leave Neverland in order to not be part of the Lost Boys anymore to be your own integrated individual full human being it's going to be a painful process it's going to be an ongoing process but take a look at Peter Pan he eventually does it so can you let me know what you guys think in the comments and as always be sure to hit the like button and share because those help me be seen by more people and I would love to help as many as possible. Have a great day.